Here we came for the launch of the Museum of Namibia Music in Onfia, the capital of Oshikota region. It is my pleasure and honor to welcome you all to a visual launch of Museum of Namibia Music in Onfia, the capital of Oshikota region. As I welcome you all, allow me to say that it's difficult to get used to this new normal where we restrict cross physical interaction to help us control COVID-19. However, I also believe that by posting the launch on social media, the Media Association of Namibia will ensure that our words and the music can head in all corners of the Republic of Namibia. I'm very much proud that the Museum of Namibia Music is being launched here in our region of Shkota. And I believe that the Museum of Namibia Music will become one of the major attractions for Omthia Town and the whole Oshikota region. It will encourage people to make a turn in this town of Thea when they are visiting a Tosha National Park, one of the largest national parks in the world. Or traveling to the, to the north. I would also like to point out to any international visitors planning a trip to the Republic of Namibia, that if you drive out the Tosha National Park through King Nehale Gate and pass the incredible uh, natural spring of Okashana at Okashana, turn on the main road that is B1 Road. It is just only 7 km drive to Nthia. The Museum of Namibia Music will add to the existing package of important and interesting cultural heritage sites in the museum that can be found in our region of Shikoto. The Nakambare Museum at Olukonda will give you also insight into the cultural practices of our Vambo traditional leaders and the impact of our Finnish missionaries. Nakambari was the nickname of given multi Rautanen, who became the leader of the first missionaries. You can also visit the Herif Pingana Kontoboro village in Tsumeb to learn in one stop about Namibia's amazing cultural diversity. I'm very much impressed, ever pleased, to have been informed that the Museum Association of Namibia that has uh, facilitated the establishment of a Museum of Namibia Music, is currently also working with the Tsumebe municipality to renovate and improve their cultural village. In addition to this, to our museums, the Oshkoto region also has a number of uh, important natural heritage sites, such as Lake Oshikoto. Lake Oshikoto is managed by the National Heritage Council. It is also a beautiful natural phenomenon and at most perfectly uh, secure lake. However, the lake is also has an important significance in terms of our cultural heritage. There was a tree between uh, next to the to the lake, 
that was a, the meeting point where Ndonga blacksmiths would meet high comb miners to obtain the copper ore that was used to make many precious artifacts. As a governor of this region, I am very much proud that the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture has chosen to locate the Museum of Namibian Music in our region of Shkoto. And I believe strongly that culture can be used as a driver for original economic development. My vision is important, new opportunity for our region. And I understand that there is a, a large plot of uh, a land next to this museum. That is a part of also this complex. The opportunity is there, available for us to expand the museum, to develop the facilities, such as spaces for musical education, a recording studio, to serve musicians in this part of the Republic of Namibia. And even an outdoor arena, which could provide a venue for larger concern, concerts. Let me conclude by saying, music has also been a source of our inspiration. And I hope and I believe that the Museum of Namibia Music can be a source of our inspiration to the residents of the Shikoto region and to all Namibians, fellow Namibians. Having to mention this word, welcome to virtual lunch of Omthia here in the Shikoto region. And I wish you success and a sincere congratulations to you. Thanks. The Museum's Association of Namibia is an NGO that receives a granting aid from the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture. It has the mandate to support regional museum development in Namibia. Our slogan is, Making Museums Matter. The reason that we have this slogan is because as an organization that represents Namibian museums, we have realized that many Namibians have never visited a museum. We are particularly concerned that many young Namibians had only visited a museum when they had been taken to one as part of a school tour. In a famous essay, Duncan Cameron argued that we should change our perceptions of the role of museums. He argued that rather than viewing museums as temples where we stare at objects in glass boxes, we should create museums that are forums. Museums can be places that encourage dialogue and discussion. The Museums Association of Namibia conducted research among young Namibians to ask what type of museums they would be likely to visit. Their replies indicated that they would like museums that covered their interests such as music and fashion, or that dealt with the problems that they faced, such as gender-based violence or environmental issues. When we applied to the European Union for funding, we saw it as an opportunity to create new museums that dealt with some of the interests and issues of young Namibians. We are happy that we have been able to collaborate with the Ministry of Education arts and culture to create exhibitions for the museum in Omthia that has been lying empty. Our philosophy is that this museum should be a new type of Namibian museum. We would like to call this new type of a museum an organic museum. Raymond Silverman has written about the museum as process. My interpretation of this is that a Namibian museum should not be viewed as a fixed collection of artifacts that is assembled and then put on display. I do not want visitors to the Museum of Namibian Music today to come back in 30 years and find the same objects and displays. The idea of an organic museum is important because the museum cannot be comprehensive. 
we would need a space as large as the Ramatex complex in Vinduk to provide enough space for every well-known Namibian musician to be acknowledged. The museum cannot be limited by a fixed and unchanging set of permanent displays. Instead, the Museum of Namibian Music should provide a collection of stories and be in constant interaction with the communities that it serves and the audiences that visit it. The Museum of Namibian Music should be constantly changing and giving space to different performers and storytellers. We believe that the displays in the museum should and will change as new objects and new information is provided by the communities who can tell their stories in the space provided by the museum. Whilst many of our existing museums reflect the history of a geographical area, such as a town, the Museum of Namibian Music will engage in different communities that make or listen to a very diverse range of musical forms from church choirs to heavy rock music. The session that caused the most heated debate at the initial stakeholders workshop to map out a vision for the Museum of Namibian Music was the simple question, what is Namibian music? The participant concluded that culture and music has always been dynamic with creative musicians who have been inspired by cross-cultural entanglements and the introduction of new instruments and ideas to create new compositions. The museum celebrates musical instruments and dances that have deep historical roots in our region of Africa. However, the museum simply defines Namibian music as music made by Namibians. Whether we make music or listen to it, almost every Namibians have a relationship with music. We want you to also have a relationship with the Museum of Namibian Music. I believe that this museum can really be a people's museum as all of us have the potential to contribute to its collection or its activities. Let us work together to make the Museum of Namibian Music matter. Last but not least, I would like to take a few moments to pay special tribute to the late Professor Manette Mans. While working at the University of Namibia, she played a major role in establishing musicology, the study of our musical heritage, as a subject at the university. She was also the first person to make a donation to the Museum of Namibian Music, giving a small collection of traditional musical instruments and other materials. We know she would have been very excited to see the launch of the museum, and so we would like to remember her today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to be able to make a few briefing remarks today in my capacity as the Director of National Heritage and Culture Program in the Ministry of Education, Art and Culture. I believe that the Museum of Namibian Music will contribute two important ways to the goal of the ministry. First, I believe that music plays an important role in bringing people together. I also believe that a museum that can celebrate music and dance from all regions of Namibia can play an important role in national building. It will help us all to appreciate the cultural wealth of our nation. I believe that in Namibia we are exploring new ways of developing museums that reflect our Namibian identity and review the way in which we see many important cultural values. Secondly, the ministry has been committed to ensuring that each of our 14 regions has a space that can be used as a platform to show the unique cultural and natural resources. We are happy that the Museum of Namibian Music we not only cover the musicians of the Osikoto region, but musicians and other dancers from all over Namibia. I'm also happy that the Museum of Namibian Music has provided a space where we can see Namibian success in having Aihan Kana Ob Ansi Kasiku ancestral music, sound, knowledge and skills, recognized by UNESCO as being a global important as a form of intangible cultural heritage. When you talk about intangible cultural heritage, we talk about skills and knowledge that is not a physical object, but something you can't hold in your hands, like the memory of a style of a dance that is passed down from generation to generation. In addition to celebrating the recognition given to the intangible cultural heritage of the Namibian Nama community, I'm happy to learn that the Museum of Namibian Music has also obtained two sets of rare and important recordings.
The first related again to the Nama community. The recording shows the way in which the ancient tradition of creating harmonious orchestral of roads made from river reeds is still surviving in Namibia. The earliest calling of music concert in Southern Africa from over 500 years ago described complex performances involving bands of Kwekwabab speaking men playing on reed float carefully cut to different lengths to create different notes. In Sese Fondain, the skills is fragile preserved through the use of papaya stems to create a similar sound. And when you visit the Museum of Music, you'll be able to hear the sound of this ancient musical art form, which is almost lost. The second important set of recording that the Museum of Namibian Music obtained are from the Namibian liberation struggle. In 1982, an East German worker, the late Sabine Zing, was working at the Swapo camps in Kwanza Sul. With the, there she carefully recorded hours of songs from the liberation struggle, but also wrote the musical score of the songs as well as the name of the composer. The recording remained on a format known as data, and a set are held at our National Archives of Namibia. Unfortunately, the technology to play this old data tapes is now obsolete and so it was impossible to listen to the recordings. However, the Museum Association of Namibia was able to partner with the NBC to enable recording to be digitalized so that these sounds from our past can be heard again. I believe that hearing these songs will bring back memory of many of us. I have viewed two of my personal highlights of the museum and hope that I have encouraged you to visit the Museum of Namibian Music so you can see many interesting displays for yourself. The Minister of Education, Art and Culture is happy to witness the birth of this important new museum and look forward to seeing it grow and develop over the years to come. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all data bundles, I hope you're enjoying the virtual launch uh, of the Namibian of the Museum of Namibian Music. I go by the name of KP Illist, and right now I'm about to rock your world for the very last time with a very famous song that I hope you'll enjoy just as much as I'd enjoyed making it. Let's go. Okay, 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 okay for the okay, very last okay, time. Let's go. <laughs> Museum Association of Namibia, thank you so much for the opportunity. I go by the name KP Ah, uh, the king's here. Can I get a hell yeah? Cause I've been on the road all year. And I've been doing loads out there. When I step to her like, oh yeah? You ain't heard of me, well my dear. On the radio you go hear. Because levels been hot the whole year. I'm a boss like Sydney, a boss like Ranga, a boss like TD. And I go to work on a beat, so boy, you can check my CV or check my rap. Museums is all on my back, and if you don't know, you gon' act. I'm top five, and I drop fire, no rumors here, it's all fact. Say, okay, 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 let me hear you at home say, okay, 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 okay. Everybody say, say, okay, 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 one more time. Okay, 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 what you know about that? I walk in the OB streets, everything is so chill. Can you name one song that I did, one verse where the boy don't kill? I mean, these new rap boys, they got no juice, they ain't got no skill. Meanwhile, I perform out of Vinduk Central, boy, I'm so ill. You might want to check your raps, might want to check your facts, check your books, check your verses, and check your bridge, and then get got E to check on your books. I hope it's up to standard, I hope y'all work enough to manage, I hope y'all can assess the damage. You can't blame me, because the boy's a savage. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, let me hear you say, say, okay, 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 if you love it, say, okay, 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 one more time, okay, 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 TD made a great investment with me, so what are the rest trying to see, if I'm the next young T, well I'm not, but I'm definitely on the road to the blessings, can I answer the questions? I'm finally in a museum. It's just a little something I mentioned. I feel like tigers when they want the NPL. I feel like an ambassador of NPL. Because the boy got bars, shabins, with no liquor license. Well, oh well. This is a downhill motion. Salute to my big boss motion. Nothing left to say, I'm just coasting. Got the juice, the sauce, and the potion. Let's go. Say, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let me hear you say. Say, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Say, say, okay, okay. Okay, okay, if you with me, say, okay, 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 if you watch it from home, say, okay, okay, 
Okay, okay, if you in the office, say, okay, 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 wherever you're at, say, okay, 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 if you just got data, say, okay, 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 okay. Thank you very much. And I would like to thank the Museums Association of Namibia, the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, and the European Union for helping us with this initiative. For me, it's such an honor, it's such a blessing to be in a museum because I finally feel like my music has now created a legacy for myself that would never be erased. So that means the most to me, and that's probably gonna mean the most to every Namibian. And if I can educate through being in this museum, if I can educate other Namibians on what we were doing in 2021, in 2040, then it's a beautiful thing. So thank you guys so much, and I hope you enjoyed the performance. Observing all protocols, ladies and gentlemen, music is the language of harmony, unity, and feeling. It calms the mind, awakens the senses, and builds resilience. It is an expression that is found in all cultures across the globe, which is essential for living and life in general. Music carries us through different situations, moments, experiences, and times. It is appropriate to think that considering that authentic Namibian musical expressions were suppressed under colonialism and more so during apartheid, there is limited information and records to truly acknowledge and appreciate where we come from musically and the development of what has come to be contemporary Namibian music. However, the Museum of Namibian Music project managed to gather some records and exhibits from various indigenous Namibian music to the likes of Tatequela, The Ugly Creatures, The People's Choice, The Mighty Dreads, Willy Buende, Rashiama, and Jackson Kayewa, as well as represent the diverse contemporized versions of Namibian music over the decades that include Overiche, Makaisa, and Shambo. Furthermore, the museum will include sections on the development of Namibian choral music, the liberation struggle music such as that of Ndilimani cultural troupe, the Namibian dance, and more current popular sounds such as Namibian kwaito and urban beats. This is in addition to keeping to a living museum philosophy, which will also offer interactive and performative presentations to keep it exciting and to attract local and international visitors. Therefore, the amount of research, investigation, and collection that went into the establishment of the Museum of Namibian Music is commended. The museum provides a sneak peek into the wealth of Namibian musical heritage. Although it is not conclusive, it is a start, since the museum is a work in progress that provides a space for the collection, preservation, and exhibition on Namibian music, musical artifacts, and paraphernalia. The project plays an important role to create more opportunities to grow our local cultural and creative industries, which include the development of museums, which should matter to us all. The Directorate of Arts is happy to have been part of the journey of the evolution of the Museum of Namibian Music and will endeavor to continue to play its role to promote and support the Museum of Namibian Music. We would also like to thank the European Union for supporting the Museums Association of Namibia with the project aimed at making museums matter, which include the Museum of Namibian Music, because yes, museums do matter. Thank you. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen to the virtual launch of the Museum of Namibian Music. My name is Rose Black, NAMAS 2020 Artist of the Year. Today, I will be performing Shadow from my debut album, Forbidden Fruit. I would like to give a big thanks to our sponsors, the Museums Association of Namibia, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, and the European Union. Thank you so much, please do enjoy. Get to 
real crowded here And you're still out of sight Whoa. My mind is on your lost your wallet yeah, yeah. I heard it all on yesterday No, no, we never get in past that boy No matter what your money say My love ain't never enough Can we ever get away? As a Namibian musician, it is a joy to have a museum of Namibian music depicting different genres of music produced in Namibia. Music has a strong bond that it can create and I believe that the museum will make us bond. This museum is also significant as it can safeguard our music heritage for future generations to come. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I am pleased to congratulate you on the successful completion of the Museum of Music. My special thanks go to the Museum Association of Namibia, whose team has been relentlessly worked to make this launch possible, despite of the unfavorable conditions of, uh, due to COVID-19 during the past year. I also wish to express my appreciation to all the dedicated colleagues at the Ministry of Arts, Culture and Education who have supported the Museum Association with all their expertise, logistics and infrastructure and all other partners that were involved. The European Union delegation to Namibia has during the past three and a half years funded the project Museum development as a tool for strengthening cultural rights in Namibia, contributing around 240,000 euro, roughly 3.5 million Namibian dollars. Apart from this specific project, we are funding other significant activities in Namibia that aim at the protecting social and cultural rights, particularly of the most marginalized communities. The guiding principles for EU action in the area of culture are the promotion of cultural diversity and the respect for human rights. Cultural diversity can be protected and promoted only if human rights and fundamental freedoms are guaranteed. These fundamental rights constitute essential foundations for democracy, sustainable inclusive development and participation in public affairs alike. Dear friends, music is an international language. It may be the language of humankind that can bring people together, particularly in times of hardship. During COVID, 
we saw the moving images of isolated, quarantined people across the world singing together on their balconies to express their solidarity and togetherness. The effects of singing together also showed that music has the potential to enhance emotional and psychological resilience. The Museum of Namibian Music is one of four components of the EU-funded project Museum Development as a Tool for Strengthening Cultural Rights in Namibia. The first component, a mobile exhibition and catalogue, is called Om Barli de Haka, a bond that cannot be broken. This shows objects from the Ondonga Kingdom held at the National Museum of Finland. The exhibition is accompanied by a catalogue that has been circulated to all community libraries and secondary school libraries. The second component, also a mobile exhibition and a catalogue, Stand Together, features museum objects from Namibia's sun communities held in Museum Africa in Johannesburg. The exhibition also displays historical artifacts to preserve cultural knowledge and aims at reconnecting young people with their cultural identity, an important aspect in our technology-driven societies. The Museum of Namibian Music that we are launching today is the third component of the project. It will provide the opportunity for young people to learn more about traditional musical instruments and the cultural significance of music and dance. The new museum will also serve as a platform to celebrate the many different styles of Namibian music as a form of creative cultural expression. The collection already includes over 50 interesting items, including a century-old piano, a silimba, a type of xylophone from the Zambesi region, and a vuku vuku drum from Kavango East region, which is well known for its ability to sound like a hippo in the Kavango River. One of the fascinating collecting projects that the Museum of Music has initiated is a request that the museum has sent out to African embassies to provide an example of a traditional musical instrument from their respective countries for the museum. At the launch of the museum, the first display will therefore feature two drums donated by the Ghanaian Embassy. I would like to take this opportunity to encourage my fellow ambassadors and high commissioners to respond to this appeal so that we can fill the new museum with the cheerful spirits of inspiring sounds from all across Africa. Thank you.
I'm very pleased to have an opportunity to say a few words today to launch the Museum of Namibian Music. The Museum of Namibian Music is the first of its kind and will provide a space where we can both celebrate our music heritage but also inspire our young people. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the delegation of the European Union and Ambassador Sininka Antila for the providing the support to enable this museum to take place. I would also like to thank the team at the Museum Association of Namibia that has managed to make this impossible possible by managing to get the museum ready for today. Despite the many obstacles that they have faced over recent months, I would like to give a special acknowledgement to the operations manager of the Museum Association of Namibia, Ms. Ndapewo Shali Ashipala, who has been responsible for the wonderful design of all the panels on the display in the museum. Namibians have really got the talent. Thank you, Ashipala. Music has played an important role in our history and continues to play an important role in many of our lives. The museum has opened its seven galleries, which cover seven themes. Namibian music is all its forms, past, present, and future, is always growing. The museum does not have the space to feature every musician who has contributed to our musical heritage. The museum is therefore designed so that it can be changed and updated. The changes and updates will also depend upon contributions from the public. The launch of the museum is not an end, but it is a beginning. It is the hope that the ministry that the Museum of uh, Namibian Music can grow in two ways. We hope that the museum will become a magnet that encourages visitors to donate new materials to the museum's collection and that it can play an important role in helping to document and safeguarding our musical heritage. We also believe that the museum should not be a quiet space, but that the large open space inside the museum can be used to support activities such as a small concert and dance classes. In the future, we hope that it will be possible to expand the facility at the venue to enable it to host larger outdoor concerts, provided a recording studio and increase their opportunities to music education. As I indicated, the Museum of the Namibian Music currently has seven galleries. Gallery one provides information about some of our traditional musical instruments. Gallery 2 covers the role of music in Namibian liberation struggle. It shows that the way in which music played such an important role in keeping the spirit of resistance. Gallery 3 discusses the importance of national anthems. Gallery 4 uses the recent Artist of the Year Awards to give a sense of the variety of contemporary Namibian music. And Gallery 5 celebrates some of the Namibian musical icons in a hall of fame, such as the late Jackson Kauyewa and the original jazz masters. Gallery 6 makes the argument that in Namibia we can talk about music without talking about dance. Finally, Gallery 7 provides a temporary exhibition space. Since there are so many stories to be told, 
the idea is that this gallery will be used to provide a space for temporary exhibitions. But that the creation of um, displays in Gallery 7 will be used to give birth to the series of mobile exhibitions so that Munamu will become a laboratory that provides small traveling exhibitions that can travel to other regions of Namibia. I understand that the first exhibition that it is hope to develop will deal with the story of choirs in Namibia. So many of us have sung in a choir or listened to one at a church or a concert, but the story of our choirs has not been yet been told in any of our museums. I would like to conclude by saying that the museum of Namibian music is our museum. I would like also Namibians not only to visit the museum, but also to help us to plan, to sponsor, and create new displays and events at the museum in the future. Many of us have old photographs or perhaps even an old instrument or costumes in our cupboards but are gathering dust. Perhaps they can be donated to the museum and together we can help to put together the pieces that tell our history and our stories. In recent months, we have been through difficult times, but Namibians are tough. I believe that this museum reminds us of the power of music. It can soothe our souls and give us strength when we most need it. With these few remarks, I would like to declare the Museum of Namibian Music officially open. And I thank you. Everybody is welcome to the museum, talking about the community, where the museum is, the Namibian nation at large, um, tourists, both domestic and international. The education that is happening here at the museum, we have different type of instruments um, that people come and um, play. For example, we have the keyboard, one can experiment how keyboard sound or experiment the keys. We also have the marimba, our own Namibian traditional instruments, the version of piano. And one can play that one also. Um, and also we have guitars, handmade Namibian guitars. People with music information, music um, instruments, family members of artists with information that can help us grow the museum. Please come forth. It will help us to grow the museum because it's just the beginning and we want the museum to grow. The music is very important because it's a mirror and the mirror of the society and its significance for the past, the present and the future. The museum is a place of curiosity and a place of wonder, a place where the cultural heritage significance are preserved because of its unique evidence in historical value, in economic value, in aesthetic or authenticity and integrity, and also in the symbolic value. The museum aims to safeguard, to celebrate, and to market the musical heritage of all Namibians, irrespective of their religious, irrespective of their ethnic groups and political affiliation. It's intent to safeguard the traditional musical forms and practices that shape the nation 
the, the Namibian national identity and the continuity. The museum is the place that uniting people in their, in their diverse culture. It connects people from different, from different background and it's also connect or create a network for the people to promote and to safeguard their, their heritage. If we speak of the museum, it's a place where we look back at the, uh, on the past to see where the museum, the, the music have been started or the, the artifact and everything that is exhibited in the museum, where it started, and to see also to the future of the music. Because without the museum of Namibian music, most of the important pieces of music will be disappear or it will be lost. To us, this is a legacy of the safeguarding of, of both traditional and the contemporary music, the legacy that will be passed on to the next generation. Thank you. I'm very happy to see the launch of the Museum of Namibia Music in, the, in our region. I believe that the fact that the museum is being launched in Omithia in the Oshikoto region is a progressive and inventionary step. It is a concrete indication of government's commitment to decentralization. I hope and believe that this project can be a model and that it will be able to demonstrate the potential of arts and culture to encourage both Namibians and international visitors to visit new destinations, locating the Museum of Namibian Music in our region contributes to our regional identity, our music, our steps, our dance, and our identity. The title of our ministry has two key words. It is education, it's arts and culture. I feel strongly that this should not be seen as separate components, but as sectors that strongly complement each other. I'm pleased to see that the Museum of Namibian Music has the clear intention to be an educational resource. I feel that this is a dimension that we can build upon in a very progressive way. Music is an art form that reflects creativity, imagination and communication. These are values that can encourage learners to gain self-confidence and to be creative. And creativity is the key for the fourth industrial revolution. These are skills that we need our learners to acquire. If Namibia is to develop a more innovative and productive economy, to develop a more innovative and productive economy, we need to invest in arts and culture. The Museum of Namibian Music has a strong focus on traditional musical instruments and the cultural significance of music and dance in different Namibian communities. Music is a universal language. I believe, again, that this will convey two powerful messages to young people. The first is that it will encourage visitors, both young and old, to obtain a better understanding of our cultural diversity because we are in a multicultural, multilingual and multi-tribal country. Greater understanding will encourage greater tolerance and differences within our beautiful culturally and linguistically diverse nation. The second message will be that we can learn from our past, take pride in it and be inspired to it to produce new creations that reflect our uniquely Namibian identity. I very much hope that once this terrible COVID-19 pandemic is over, schools in our region and indeed schools across the country will travel to Omithia to visit the museum to take away these two important messages. As the regional director at the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, I can state that we are committed to the future growth of the museum and to developing its educational role. I'm happy to learn that the museum is already being used as a venue for dance classes 
for local youth by Ms. Esther. And then we can say that it, we will be responsible for running of the museum. I strongly believe that the residents of our Oshikoto region, the mothers, the fathers, the children, the youth, the young ones, should take the lead in supporting the museum. I think that one way in which we can do this will be to establish an advisory committee which should involve both national and regional stakeholders. The advisory committee will be able to not only provide advice and support the museum, but to also be able to assist the museum to raise funds for further expansion, which is much needed. I hope that part of the agenda of such a committee will be to develop museums, educational materials that will enable teachers to link some of the displays in the museum to our national curriculum. I would like to congratulate all those who have been involved in the birth of this museum. I would like to thank Ambassador Sinica Antila as the representative of the delegation of the European Union for helping us to turn a dream into reality. I believe that today uh, we are witnessing just the beginning of a story of the Museum of Namibian Music. I believe that the heart and soul of the Museum of Namibian Music lies in its educational role. I believe that today we are witnessing just the beginning of the story of the Namibian M Museum of Music. Director of Education, Arts and Culture, the Museum of Namibia Music is here. We thank the forerunners of the music industry. We thank the ones who watered the Garden of Music. We thank the current drivers and torchbearers of the authentic Namibian music, the Rashiamas, the Dennis Asip, the Akhalid Duesip, the Jackson Gawewas, the Erna Shumus, and many more Oshikoto region inhabitants. A legacy is started through someone's vision. Let us carry and build onto that legacy for the generations to come. The staff members of the Museums Association of Namibia, our regional staff members, the team from Ventu, who did the final touches and everyone who was involved in the birth of the music of Namibia, you are appreciated, you are valued. We will take this music to higher and greater heights. I thank you so much for your indulgence. I'm here to talk to you about the new Museum of Namibian Music. It's in Omphia. This is a project that was funded by the European Union and implemented by the Museums Association of Namibia. And we've been working together with different stakeholders, including, of course, the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, but then different stakeholders that are related to music and are the custodians, really, of Namibian music, such as schools, archives, so NBC, the National Archives of Namibia, Kota, UNAM, and then individuals who are really, I think, the biggest people we have to thank in this, who have helped us make this museum a reality. We started in 2018 with our first stakeholders workshop here in Amthea, where the museum is based. Um, the museum is at the Cultural Center in Amthea, and it's right next to a library. So it's supposed to be an, uh, a live museum. We're trying to challenge the concept of museums. Um, this is a music museum, so it should have music, it should have dance. So you, when you come here, you can play some instruments, you can learn where you can go to dance schools, where you can learn to um, study music. There are lots of different uh, instruments that you can play, you can learn about. We have traditional music, we have more contemporary music, we have traditional dance, um, we have contemporary dance. You'll hear the word organic museum coming up a lot when you talk when we're talking about this museum that means we want it to grow we want to get as much input from the public as possible so every single gallery in this museum including the dance gallery including the temporary exhibition galleries you will find that more often than not the conversation around the instruments or around the content we framed it as questions that's because we believe that museums should be conversation starters and not the end of the conversation. Some of the instruments you'll find here and in the information we have is obviously donated by different individuals who have um, responded to the flyers that we posted in the mailbox boxes, um, but there's always room for growth and that's why we're calling it an organic museum. So we look forward to your contributions and we look forward to seeing you here. Okay, okay, if you just got data, say okay, 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 okay. Thank you very much. And I would like to thank the Museums Association of Namibia, the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, and the European Union for helping us with this initiative. And I hope you enjoyed the performance.